In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a high voltage static electricity tower, such as the one shown here, from very simple components available in the house. And the only thing that's not available in the house is these high voltage diodes here. And you can make as many stages as you want for even higher voltages. This one is a four-stage high voltage static electricity tower and the diodes here are rated for 20,000 volts. These diodes are available from eBay and I can put up a link if you want to know where to find them. Depending on where you get them, they're not that expensive. And let me begin on how I made this small static electricity tower. The basic premise of this high voltage static tower is a, Wal a Cockroft Walton voltage multiplier shown here. So trans to translate from this to what it would look like when it's placed on this acetate sheet or this bottle that's been cut, look at this. So basically what I've drawn here is aluminum foil. So the bigger ones, you have to imagine that they're stuck to the bottom of the acetate sheet. And the smaller ones, you have to imagine that they're stuck to the top of the acetate sheet. Now I've drawn them smaller. They're not really smaller. They're gonna be the same size, but just so you can see them is why I've drawn them smaller. So this uh, is on the top. This is on the top. I sh this is on the top. And the bigger ones are on the bottom, are stuck to the bottom. And remember, this is adhesive aluminum tape that you can buy from Lowe's or Home Depot. So on the top, you have one, two, three, four, five pieces of aluminum tape. And on the bottom of the sheet of acetate plastic, you have one, two, three, four, five. So basically the same number on the top and the bottom. And you want to overlap them like this. I've overlapped by about 20 to 30 percent because you want to leave a gap. If these were touching, you wouldn't be able to generate any voltage on your tower. So you want to get these gaps here, here, to be able to generate voltage separation. And here's your diodes. And the diodes can be just taped on with more adhesive aluminum tape. And I'll show you how I did that right here. Here's one, it's just taped on right there with the adhesive aluminum tape. It's very hard to solder onto aluminum, it just doesn't work. So they're just taped on, as shown. And um, your AC input is here and here. And this is from a high voltage, high frequency AC source. You do not want to use DC, otherwise it won't work. There'll be no voltage multiplication. And then you want to ground the negative and so your positive is going to come out right here and so if you started with say 5000 volts AC across here with four stages uh, you're going to get 8 times 5 which is 40,000 volts right here 